Today we're playing Round Robin in a brand new game, Portrait Mode. Get ready for Game Showdown. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Game Showdown. I'm your host, Blessing, Eddie O.A. Jr., and I'm joined by three teams. We got Tim Geddes representing Team Geddes. We got Andy Cortez representing Team Andy, and we have Greg Miller representing Team Greg. And we're starting off with a trivia question worth 10 points and the chance to start off strong. Contestants buzz in to answer. Portal 2, the sequel to Valve's first-person puzzle phenomenon, introduces a new gameplay element known as gels. When applied to a surface, gels change the property of the ground you traverse on. One of those gels is a light orange color. What effect does it have? Greg Miller. Speed. Speed? Like it's like frictionless. That is the correct answer. That's 10 points to start off with. Uh, it's also called the propulsion gel. That's what it is. Speeds you up. Uh, Greg, that gets you 10 points. Tim and Andy, do better. <laughs> remember that. this is game showdown kind of funny's nerdy game show that you can watch live right here on twitch and youtube if you love what we do support us with the kind of funny membership on patreon or on youtube get all the shows ad free watch us record them live and get a daily exclusive show housekeeping for you game showdown live is coming to pax east with me and a crew of guests uh, if you want to catch kind of funny trivia show live in the pax audience it's going down on friday march 22nd at 1 p.m in the albatross theater we have revealed our first content contestant that is jared petty doki doki making That's his return awesome. to kind of funny trivia content you'll hear about the two other contestants or more contestants. I'm, I'm figuring out still. Yeah. But you'll hear about them soon. I was thinking about it. I, I think it's like, going to be bangers. Oh, it's, we got bangers so far. But I was like, what if we got the more of Boston. I might break. <laughs> like, part of the identity of Game Showdown is I like having three contestants, right? Keeps things cons consistent. Makes less work for me having to switch things up or whatever. But I was like, a lot of people I know are going to PAX East. Mm -hmm. What if we got crazy with it? Go crazy. Force Bill, them, Bill force them to still be our on. team. I mean, maybe. It's an can... exhibition game, but, you know. Yeah. Jared, you're welcome, Jared, to represent Team Greg. We have I mean, 10 points already. You're confident in Jared as your rep representative. Well, it's exhibition. Even knowing it's exhibition. It's oh, exhibition. Well, that's fair. No, that's I'm, fair. I don't think Jared will win. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met the man? I've never met a bigger loser in my life. You know what I mean? God damn yeah, it. I love you, Jared. Uh, Tim, we have more housekeeping about this show on podcast services. Mm, we do. They're on them now. Yeah! Guess what, everybody? Y'all asked for it. We were like, hey, we're making a video-only show. This video-only bits, like I assume today's episode, is probably yeah. going to be with the game portrait mode. But despite that, you were like, we don't care. We just want to listen. We're driving our trucks and stuff. Literally, a lot of people were like, I actually drive a truck, yeah. and I just want to listen to the yeah. show. And I was like, you know what? Fine. So we did the back-end work. We got it up on podcast services. It should be on whatever podcast service you listen to, Apple Music, Google, iHeartRadio, Spotify. I'm it follow on be, Spotify right now. Thank you very much, Greg. And I would hope that everybody does because we had, have this moment right now that I'd really appreciate. This is the most important week for the podcast because it is a new podcast feed. We got to get it all the juice. If you could please subscribe, if you could please like it, five stars, whatever, all the positive stuff, write the reviews, all that stuff. Every episode um, so far of this season will be there, so you can have the whole backlog. Uh, and then every episode going forward, obviously, will be there as well. And then on Patreon or Kind of Funny uh, membership on YouTube, you can get the podcast version ad-free, of course, as well. So, um, yeah, exciting stuff. Thank you all for your patience and yep. understanding there. Get it. Get hyped. Yeah. And for video watchers, like, that doesn't change anything about the exactly. way the show is constructed. It'll still have the visual games. Like, I'm not – like, Tim came to my desk um, a few weeks ago and was like, hey, this is what we're thinking. And I'm like – I don't know if that's the right idea for it, but Tim's like, hey, people are asking for it, and we're like, all right, cool, let's do it. So just know there are certain episodes, like this episode, that will be constructed around visual bits. That's just the way it is. But mm -hmm. if you're a big kind of feudy person, then uh, Barrett's pointing at something. Is that for me, Barrett? Oh, my God, there's a bat. It's okay. It's but yeah. Mark McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be a show that's largely constructed around a lot of visual stuff. But if you're somebody who's like, ah, oh, for a kind of feudy episode, let me listen to the podcast. That makes sense. I feel you. Go for it. Uh, thank you to our Patreon producers, Carl Jacobs, Streaking A Easy, and Delaney Twining. Today we're brought to you by Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but we'll tell you about that later. For now, let's play Round Robin. The rules are simple. Round Robin is a pretty straightforward question and answer game about video games. I'll give you a question. You have your buzzers that you'll use to buzz in and answer said question. You can buzz in once per round. If you give the correct answer, that's 10 points. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Of course buzzing. Number one. On August 21st, 2023, 
IGN.com posted their up-to-date rankings of the 25 best PS1 games of all time. What game did IGN crown the second best PS1 game of all time? Greg Miller. Final Fantasy VII. Greg says Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is the correct answer. It's impressive. Thank you. For a tip of the hat, do you want to guess what was number one? Metal Gear Solid. That is correct. Metal Gear Solid was number one. That was my, that's why I hesitated. It was like, I was like, uh, this guy still checks in on his ex-girlfriends like all the time. Do you want to go for another tip of the hat? I guess number three. I'll let Greg go first. Thank you very much for understanding how tip of the hat work. All right. Uh, Top shop. (laughs) (laughs) Top shop. Wasn't it? Tell me what you you got. Castlevania symphony of the night. It was Castlevania symphony of the night. There's your tip of the hat. Thank you. I don't need it. Well received. I don't fucking need one. Round number two. It's time to order up. I want you to arrange the following games from the Star Wars franchise in release order. All right. The games are Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Demolition, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader, and Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Barrett has a graphic up. Uh, Greg Miller. And so I'm going, I'm sorry, earliest to latest? Yes. Release order. Very much. So then it would be, drum roll please, thank you, Star Wars Demolition, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Episode 1, no, I'm sorry, no, that's right, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. That is incorrect. <laughs> Did you like the confidence, though? I'm going to give it to Andy, I think they weren't ad- activated by Andy got there. That first. was a lot of great confidence, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Star Wars Demolition, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Star Wars Rogue Leader. That is incorrect. Tim, get it. I'm going to go with Star Wars Demolition, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader, and no then shit. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Tim, you are so close. God damn it. In release order. Can I see it again, Barrett? It is Star Wars Episode yeah, One fuck. Racer. That wow. came out in 1999 for uh, N64. I would have never guessed that. Demolition yeah, was right. PlayStation. Demolition was the PS1 game. It was inspired by Twisted Metal. Uh, that came out in the year 2000. Really? For PS1. Ah. Yeah, the year after Star Wars Episode One Racer. And then in 2001, we got Star Wars Rogue Squadron wow. 2, Rogue Leader. Launch and style. then in 2002. 2002 for PS2, we got Star Wars uh, Bounty Hunter. I think I, on PS2, right? Or GameCube? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's Twitter. the thing is, I don't, I don't even know what Bounty Hunter is. I, I just think it was one of the PC games Poe played that Me I too. Care. Yeah, that's what I assume. I assume Demolition and Bounty Hunter were those yeah. that, like, only the only the real ones know, you know? Bounty Hunter is, like, one of those, like, cult classic PS2 third person <laughs> shooter type games. Yeah, Roger. Big fan. Roger wooed it. Round number three. We got a you identify. Uh, Bear is going to bring up an image of a game's UI. If you can tell me what game this UI is from, you get the points. Spirit, bring it up. We got a game's UI here. Just the UI elements are visible. Tim Gettys. Bully? Tim says bully. Bully is the correct answer. That's 10 points for Tim Gettys. Good job, Tim. Now, from here on, correct answers are worth 20 points. This is such a Barrett game. I've never played Bully. I know Barrett loves Bully. You see that <laughs> screenshot? I'm like, yeah, it's Barrett. <laughs> is it because I look like Jimmy Hopkins now? The fuck you I don't doing? know. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, that that's a big part of it. <laughs> <laughs> From here on, correct answers are worth 20 points. And I'm not asking questions to the group. These are tailored questions for each contestant. And you only have 15 seconds to answer. Starting with so Andy no buzzing, yeah. Cortez. Okay. You're not buzzing in now, but of course, like always, if Andy gets it wrong. Oh, right. Good call. Other people get that. As thing. always, yeah. Andy, <laughs> when I get it wrong, when he breaks it, <laughs> <laughs> you're a big Elden Ring fan here at Damn. the office. In the game, over on the western side of the map, you come across a blacksmith on the path to carry a manor or Caria Manor. I don't know how that one's pronounced. Caria Manor, who is also a gentle troll in charge of the smithing for the Carrion Royals. What is this troll's name? E.G. Andy says E.G. That is the correct answer. War Counselor E.G. The plus, homie. And he's on it. Why, why'd you have to add gentle? Because <laughs> he's he, a lovely soul. He's a great dude. Because yeah. you a, see him and you're like, oh, this guy's about to be a boss fight. And he's like, he's chill. Because, he's cool. Tim, they want to set, they make him gentle to set you up for the heartbreak when you eventually Kill him. get, you do some wild ass shit and then you come back dead bodies there with a bunch of like dead bad guys around him. So he went down fighting, dude. Oh, oh it's such a hard Awesome. Dude. Great guy. I was about to get there tonight. I'm going to ruin this. <laughs> <laughs> My next question it's for Tim Geddes. Tim, mm-hmm. you're the biggest Pokemon fan I know. Thank you. Gotta catch them all. Can you guess this Gen 1 Pokemon game based on his Pokedex entry? This entry is from Pokemon Heart Gold. 
but it is a Gen One Pokemon. Oh, okay. it's being got, pulled from Heart Gold. Okay, yeah. I was like Gen One game. There's yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> it is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. That's the full entry. Fuck. Just um, like me for real. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows. What does that mean, Andy? You know. Man. <laughs> you know, man. Man, man, man. Uh, I guess Ekans. Tim says Ekans. Ekans is the incorrect Damn it. answer. Uh, Greg Miller. Porygon. Porygon <laughs> is the incorrect answer. Andy, uh, since Tim and then Greg both got these ones wrong, you have the chance to steal the answers for 20 points. I do have multiple choice options for oh, you. Oh, come on. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's how it, all, That's how it always goes. Oh, come on. Let me back in. It was a funny answer for fun times. <laughs> I had a foul. I was making it funny. Let me back in. Class. <laughs> you had the, that's on you. you <laughs> I got the tip of the hat and everything. <laughs> you got it wrong. I got the PlayStation 1 question. So let me back in. <laughs> Andy, the options go Good like content this. content if I come back in. <laughs> Is it A, Ekans? Is it B? <laughs> I fucked myself awesomely <laughs> yeah, on this. He did. <laughs> Is it B, Dratini? Or is it C, Diglett? The entry goes like this. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. Is it A, Ekans, B, Dratini, or C, Oh, back in! <laughs> oh, this is weird as shit. Uh, I'm going to say I feel like Dratini feels like the slam dunk, but it's almost too obvious because it's the only like serpent-like looking thing. And I don't know about Diglett's getting longer. This is weird, bro. <laughs> I'm going to say, but that little fucker's in the ground. Yeah. What's going on down there? You know, it's the tip of the what iceberg. We don't know how long he is down there. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, I'll say. I'm going to throw a Hail Mary Diglett. <laughs> Andy says Diglett. Diglett is the answer. <laughs> it's just so obvious. Answer. It's way too obvious. I was like, he's throwing me for a loop. I am so <laughs> right there with Andy because I was thinking, I'm like, I, the only ones that this could at all work with would be Ekans, Arbok, or Dratini or Dragonair. Like that, I, their bodies, the serpents, I get it. Diglett, though, <laughs> the, the I mean, concept, like, can you read that again? Because we seen that fucker get it out is, of the ground. It is born large to start with. It repeatedly sheds its skin as it steadily grows longer. I've never heard anything about that with Diglett. No. Which like is why it was skin? supposed to be. Like, usually, like, a lot of the time, I won't say usually. A lot of the time when I do, like, the three multiple choice ones, I have, like, two that are, like, ooh, these could be it. And then one, because I know Greg doesn't know shit about Pokemon. Gotcha. And so I have one in there to, like, throw Greg off. I wasn't expecting Andy, who knows what these Pokemon are, to get thrown off and go. go I mean, I would, I'd be thrown off, too. If I had the multiple <laughs> choice, I would have said Let Diglett. Me back in! <laughs> <laughs> Diglett being just super long underneath is terrifying. Uh, nobody gets any points for that I was that like, he's round. fucking with me. He's playing a game with me. I thought. God. I thought he was. Uh, our final question for round robin. Really, I played myself. Goes to Greg. Hi. Greg, in 2009, you gave a game a 2.5 out of 10 IGN review, saying, quote, there's no reason for you to play this game. It fails at being a worthwhile title on all fronts. The gameplay isn't fun. The levels are too long. The sound is bad, and the story isn't interesting. There are more problems, but I'll leave my written flogging at that. Avoid this game at all costs. End quote. Greg, what game was this? This is 2008, you said? 2009. Three, two. Dark Void? Greg says Dark Void. Dark Void is incorrect of course because greg got this wrong tim and you guys have the option or have the chance to steal this question from greg uh i'll read it again with the multiple choice answers uh it says quote there's no reason for you to play this game it fails at being a worthwhile title on all fronts the gameplay isn't fun the levels are too long the sound is bad and the story isn't interesting there are more problems but i'll leave my written flogging at that avoid this game at all costs what is this game? Is it A, Naughty Bear? Is it B, Damnation? Or is it C, Hyperboloid HD? Andy Cortez. I think this my shit doesn't work, man. I'm telling you. I might didn't work the first time either. Let me back in. I mean, Roger's our button referee. Did you see? Did you, did you have a choice? Andy. Andy. I think Cameron Kennedy is going to prove me wrong, though, with the slow-mo. Tim, I got to give it to you. I don't feel right about no, that. No, go for it. 
I'm gonna say Naughty Bear. Andy Fuck says idiot. Naughty Bear. <laughs> Naughty Bear is incorrect. That's the only one I know that he's ever said a bad thing. Tim, yeah. you have two options here. Is is it Damnation or is it Hyperboloid HD? Damnation. Tim says Damnation. Damnation is the damn right answer. Fuck you get yeah, twenty thank points. God. For that I one, I just knew it wasn't Naughty Bear. I did not know. Yeah, that's the only one I know of. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I was my first instinct would have been Naughty Bear, but the years don't line up. Yeah. I remember no. being in the new office for Naughty mm -hmm. Bear. I don't even remember those other two games. Did yeah. I review Hyper Balloid? I HD? believe you did review Hyper Balloid, which, which is why I put it in there. One of those answers has got to be Breath of the Wild Blessing. You got to. You got to put one in there that stands mm. apart from the rest because I don't See, know these I, bad games <laughs> that Greg reviewed. I thought Hyper Balloid might have been one of those. I made this like weeks and weeks ago, so I forget uh -huh. what mine's day was for that one. But I feel like Hyper Balloid, Balloid might have been the easy like that. Uncharted three. Can I see? Uh, uh, can I see footage of Damnation? <laughs> what is Damnation? I think it might be an action game if I remember correctly. Yeah, was it on PS two? It must be, no. It must have been a PS three. Okay. It was still All I can think of is Forsaken. Yeah, but they were still putting out. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But Damnation sounds like one of those like you know how we make fun of that generation. We're having like all that the brown PSP, shooters, right? Like, I mean, oh, maybe. See, in my head, I'm like thinking third person, ugly yeah. looking, like brown. Yeah, like, I'm with you. Like, on that, looks like everything sure. else. Code Masters, yeah, they were they were the fucking embracer group of their time. <laughs> oh, it, dude, I might be nailing it. Right now, we're looking at got, we got a cowboy hat. Whoa. In. Oh, Man, you, all right, yeah, yeah. You remember shitting on this shit? I remember this shit. Apparently, we got to avoid this game at all costs. You do. <laughs> Does that look like one you got to run and beg for backwards compatibility? Barrett, on? take it down. Take it down. <laughs> uh, Barrett, before we move on, what's the recap of the score? Oh, uh, right Ooh. now, tied for last place is Team Andy and Team Greg, both with 20 points each. They're both showing up. It's a tight race, and I'm glad they're making it interesting. <laughs> Could go either way. <laughs> Could go either way. Uh, and that makes our leader right now currently just 10 points ahead. It is a tight race today. Is Team Gettys with 30 points, but it's still anybody's game. And I know I wasn't here last week. Is this a new scoreboard? This is a nice scoreboard. I don't know. Before it used to be just this, still this, photos this, uh, of us. This was updated this week. I like it. Good job, guys. Hey, we're iterating here. If you want to help us iterate things. <laughs> Patreon.com slash kind of funny. YouTube.com slash kind of funny games is where you can go to get the kind of funny membership, which also allows you to get shows ad free. And speaking of ads, let us tell you about our sponsors. We are brought to you by Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a standalone game that welcomes fans and newcomers alike. You don't need to have played Final Fantasy VII Remake or any other Final Fantasy titles to play and enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The combat is not traditional turn-based and has more action-focused gameplay, with even deeper improvements since Remake with new synergy attacks and team-based combos. And there are large open sections to explore with Cloud and his comrades venturing across the planet, their fates unwritten, making every step in the expansive world outside Midgar fresh and mysterious. And of course, there are dozens of mini games. There's a story recap video of Final Fantasy VII Remake for those interested in learning more about the story so far, and those looking to experience Final Fantasy VII Remake fully can pre-order the Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth Twin Pack, which includes the game plus the DLC episode Intermission at no extra cost. You can download and play a demo of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now on the PlayStation Store, and you can pre-order the game in the link in the description. The wait is almost over. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is out February 29th. Get hyped. And now it's time for our second game, Portrait Mode. The rules are simple. I'm going to give you all the same prompt. It could be the name of a Pokemon, a famous final boss, or even a video game box art. Your task is is to draw what you think the prompt looks like on your Surface Pros. Our three judges, me, Roger, and still Mike, Mike will pick the winners for each round. You get 10 points for each endorsement from Roger, Mike, and I. So if I think Greg had the best drawing, but, but Roger and Mike think Tim did, Greg would get 10 points from me, while Tim would get 20 points. Oh. We're judging based on accuracy, not artistry. So if I ask you to draw the Gears of War box art, for example, as long as you have the key features right, that's more important than your actual drawing skills. So this isn't like an automatic Thank Andy God. Cortez type win, right? Uh, <clears throat> does that make does that all make sense? Yeah. Cool. How do we easily erase? Because I wrote Andy sucks on my no, Andy. You have, to go, you have to go back. Oh, you have to go yeah, tap, yeah, tap, yeah. tap, tap, tap. I knew, I knew the back. Oh, they can see it on there. Yeah. No. It only goes back so far. I wrote Greg as a great father. 
So yeah, this is the beauty of the Microsoft, oh, I rotated. Oh, no. <laughs> Microsoft Service Pros. Of course, shout out to Microsoft for sending us the Service Pros. Uh, Greg handled all like the reach out and all this stuff. I know there's more, there's more stuff Greg wants to call out, but uh, you're killing it. Yeah, like they're great for this game because that means yeah we get to do this cool thing where uh, with, uh, Tim, Andy, and Greg are connected to a site right now where they, as they draw, this is awesome. You can see. So we have a scene where you can see exactly they're drawing. If you didn't catch it for us, you can tap the erase button like in Photoshop and just erase that way rather than go back, 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 back. Got it. If you want to go back, you can go back, back. Cool. So Portrait Mode. Every episode of Portrait Mode has a theme. Today's theme is Skylanders characters. What? Fuck I'm going to ask you to draw some Skylanders <laughs> characters based on their names. Let's start off with round number one. Contestants, I want you to draw Chompy from Skylanders. Chompy or Chonky? Chompy. C-H-O-M-P-Y. Chompy. You have a minute to draw what you think Chompy looks like. Again, as you're doing that, uh, shout out to Microsoft once again for sending us the service Pro 9s. Chompy from Skylanders. You guys should probably talk to each other. <laughs> Tim, Tim has an art artistry right now. I yeah, see, no, I've I'm never just like, I'm so taking over Tim's, Tim's thing. And he's like, oh, wow. He's doing, some, he's doing the dang thing over there. This is beautiful. Guys, I'm trying real hard. <laughs> I am not good at drawing or writing. Seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Mike. You were on uh, Game Showdown last week. I was. I represented Team Greg. How'd you enjoy that? I like having you on the uh, show. I, bless you. Know I love being a part of this. I, I love representing Team Greg because he appreciates me and loves me, and I love being on the show. I, I try to, you know, I try my best every time. Yeah. More yeah. Xbox questions, please. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief, run fast. <laughs> I'm excited because I love out, Skylanders. I don't think Andy knows, but I'm a Skylanders expert, of course so you I know are. exactly of course who you are. Chompy oh, is. Oh man, you were buying all of them back in the day. I yeah. know it. All right. Three, two, one. Times up, pencils down. I asked you all to draw Chompy from Skylanders. We're going to go through the drawings one at a time. Let's start off with Greg's drawing. Let's see what Greg put down for Chompy. Oh. oh. You can see he's got his little platform oh. there so he can stand with all the other Skylanders. I'm Chompy. Mm -hmm. And he wrote Chompy. Chompy. That's nice. And he looks like, almost like a Chain Chomp sort of dude. 100%. Yeah. There was some inspiration there, I won't lie. Okay. Fair By enough. the King of the Chomps. And he's pink. That's interesting. Well, that makes him more friendly. Chompy, you know, mm. sounds like a friendly dude. Yeah. And he's pink. Remember, Skylanders are heroes, Roger, so they're all friendly. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, know anything about that, would you, Roger? Roger wouldn't know. Sure. Let's bring up Andy's picture. What did Andy draw? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. oh. He's got the legs. Okay. Yeah, Andy, no you, arms, though. I want to describe I the... him just like a little, like a, um, almost like for Coco, but without the arms, <laughs> sure. just like little legs. And he's just like, he's all head, a little bit of like yeah. dinosaur tail. I picture him like part reptile, reptilian kind of thing, you know? Awesome. Now let's bring up Tim. What did Tim have to draw? Oh, okay. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting one. Uh -huh. well, what's the so inspiration that, here? Is yeah. this another chain chomp kind of thing? Yeah. You know, I started with the chompers there, started yeah. with the teeth and I kind of just, uh, Kept going after that, you know? What's going on with the feet area? Are those Wanted feet? Wanted to make sure that there was legs and arms. I, oh. Chompy definitely has arms. That's an arm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Two arms, two legs. Okay. You know? Get your mind out of the gutter, Roger. <laughs> One's longer than the other, so I thought maybe... Hey, you know, don't shame Chompy, okay? I'm not trying to shame Chompy. Barrett, bring up what Chompy actually looks like. Hey! That's Chompy right there. So you guys wow. were, you know, kind of nailed spot. it. Kind of wow. close to it. Uh, can you bring up the, the options one uh, one more time so yeah. me, Roger, and Mike can judge? So this is Tim's. This is Greg. Greg's right here. Sorry, I did that guy. is after the fact doodle on the side. I was trying to change my pen size for future ones. Smart. And this is Andy's over here. Mm. <sighs> this is hard. It's tough. Okay. And what would you like? What I like? What I mean? So, just remember, judges. these are toys to life, right? So just who looks the most like a toy to life? So it's who who has the one that looks closest? I guess I'll just talk what Greg said. I nailed it. <laughs> May we see Chompy again, please, Barrett? <laughs> I mean, I think it looks perfect. It's a tough one. Run it one more time between the three. Yes. I mean, it's, uh, sharp teeth, sharp teeth. There it is. This is Greg. Two eyes. No arms, no legs. This is Tim. Definitely has arms and legs. This octopus. is Andy. Oh wow. Mm. Reptilian. Wow. Reptilian vibe. Can you show me? Can you do it one more time? This is really tough. I got one. I got. I, I, All right. It, so this is. Do you want to see Chompy himself? Yeah. Show me Chompy one more time. Chompy himself. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is Greg. This is Tim. Mm. This is Andy. Mm. Okay. Ooh. All ah. right. Now, do we want to reveal ours at the same time, or no? Let's go one, one, one at a time. time. All right, Roger. We'll start with you. 
I went for Tim. Man of the people. Because it was the eyes. Tim's Thank eyes you. looked like they could be like raised up the mm-hmm. way the Chompies actually are, and none of you guys did that. So, yeah. I mean, it's I think it's an artistic thing. So you get. I didn't. I don't think you went for that. But you like, know what? It kind of looks it like that. It so. just didn't draw a bottom eyelid, but that's okay. Yeah, but it works. <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Points to Tim from Roger. My vote. Also, Tim. Oh, damn. I think Tim wow. was the closest just in terms of, like, limbs. <laughs> yeah, limbs and chompers, right? Like, I, when I look at Greg's, Greg's didn't have any of the limbs there. And then Andy's looked too much like a, a different sort of thing, like a different sort of beast. I think Tim having, like, the more, you know, round, small limbs and then big chompers for me spoke to accuracy. Big chompers. Big chompers. Mike, who you got? You know, I really looked at all three contestants today. A lot of, a lot of great answers. art right there. A lot of great I was very art. pleased with. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give a little tip of the cap. To one Greg Miller for remembering the the play disc. I appreciate you paying attention to detail, Greg. But the winner for me is Tim Geddes. Wow. Two two arms, two legs, and the eyes. I've never won anything art-related, and I know that that's not what just happened here. (laughs) (laughs) I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Let's move on to round number two. I want you guys to I draw. Shouldn't have drawn, oh, I shouldn't have drawn a tail. Erased, like, I drew a tail as a flourish. And also, give me a favor. Write your, uh, give me your signature on the bottom right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a great call. As we switch scenes, yeah. we can yeah. keep and up just with Just use the eraser here. to erase things instead of going back. Yeah. As you guys are doing that, I'm going to tell you that I, I want you to draw Stump Smash. From Skylanders? Skylanders? Yeah. These are all Skylanders characters. Stunk Smash? Stump Smash. Stunk. Stump. 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 Stump Smash. S-T-U-M-P. Smash. Vera's going to put a minute on the clock. Stump. Smash. As you're doing that. It starts now. Roger, how do you feel like you do in this game? Awful. Awful. I only know Spyro, and that's it. That's all I know. Do you Uh, know any other Skylanders off the top of your head? No. I learned a lot while preparing this game. Yeah. It turns out there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I guess Crash technically is a Skylander. That's a technicality, too. Just with Spyro. (laughs) It's a technicality. No, I think isn't Spyro like the main, like, you know, mascot yeah, for I Skylanders. Guess, yeah, I mean, so technically a, he's a Skylander. Right? There was a fish man. Oh, what was his name? Fish man. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that would have been an easier one. <laughs> been easier. Yeah, draw fish there. man. I, I think I would have put human limbs on fish man. I don't think I would have uh, made an amorphous creature. I think would've, fish would've, man. I think I'm going for like a reverse mermaid type yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, you know, the question is, is like you think to yourself, do all the Skylanders have human-like features, arms mm. and legs? Do they talk? Right? Do they speak English? They're heroes. Maybe. Did you really play Skylanders? I'm just letting you know. I saw a lot of the toys. Uh, a lot of toys. So you oh, saw, I can see so you a, saw a lot of them. You didn't see anything as a Did you purchase person. a lot of the toys, Roger? Maybe. Okay, maybe. All right. Your time Three, is. two, oh, one. Pens down. Damn, that time ran out fast on me. <laughs> so, again, I asked you guys to draw Stump Smash. Stump with a P. Smash. Let's start off with what Tim Gettys brought <laughs> yeah, to us this one. time. Wow. Like a rib right, eye. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a stump, but it's on like a hammer. You know? Oh, <laughs> no. I thought you were trying to draw feet and legs, and then it didn't. You didn't. Well, it, it would be like it's the hammer, the thing you hold on, on the hammer. The handle. The handle. Thank you. It's like a weapon. Off. But it's also a leg. Is. It's also the leg of this, ah, this creature. So it has one leg. One leg. Gotcha. One leg. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's bring up what Andy Cortez, Cortez drew for us. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I like good. this. Oh, that's Very really good. Yeah, nice log Almost middle. like a golem type of guy. Is Pokemon. he floating? We got some perspective on this shit. No, I think he's just like a dude with arms. Yeah, but, okay. you know. Awesome. Let's bring up Greg's. And see, you asked the best question there, Roger. Is he floating? No, Stump Smash, of course, has legs to run and smash. He would also be holding a tree limb club here, but I ran out of time. I did not. Mm-hmm. I was not okay. paying attention to the clock. Beautiful signature. Yeah, well this is great. Greg. Thank it's you. A great signature. Barrett, bring up the actual Stump Smash. Oh, looks like he's got oh, legs. Wow. Looks Uh-oh. like he's got Shit. legs. This got interesting. Let's do it one more time. Let's see everybody's. One yeah. More so this Greg's. is Greg's. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> this is oh, Andy. Shit. Ah, this is fuck. And remember, it's not about artistic ability. It's about who captured the Skylander. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who captured Stump Smash? Yeah, who- leave it on actual Stump Smash for a second. This is fun. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm i glad I didn't or anything, but I hope in future episodes I'm allowed to cheat somehow. And I just, I like the third one, I know perfect. I like, I've looked ahead <laughs> and I just like fucking destroy it. <laughs> All right. I think guys, that's what we did. Locked in? Yeah. We did that for a KFAF thing with draw Pokemon. And like on mine, I, I had like practice memorizing 
the actual line placement of this poker. I was like, I think this is how it looks. <laughs> so, and Nick was like, "Fuck you, man." <laughs> All right, Mike, let's start off with you. Who you got? Uh, I'll go first. All three really broader than this one, especially you, Tim. Thank you. But uh, the winner is Greg Miller, who continues Thank to you. impress. Thank you. He sees the vision. He knows the vision. Skylanders. I also agree. My winner is Greg for this one. I think the, le- the legs really brought it home. Thank it you, was Andy. between uh, Greg and Andy for this, course, but yeah, the, the legs really um, captured Stump yeah. Smash. I went with Greg as well. It was Thank the you. legs. It was all Thanks, in the legs. Thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. A strong I like that Andy looks like if Geodude... Was in the woods instead. Yeah, he's yeah. the wood no. variant. Yeah. Honestly, I think it was the answer, Andy. I think if you were, if you said, looked at me and said he was floating, I'd be like, you know what? I like that visionary. But you mm. looked at me and said, no, actually, he walks. I'm like, that doesn't work. That's not uh. how that works. <laughs> Harsh I'm just better off just drawing legs, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Just draw legs on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to round number three. I want you guys to draw Flame Slinger. Oh, shit. Flame Slinger from Flame Skylanders. Slinger. Flame Slinger. From Skylanders. You have a minute to draw. Wow. Oh no, I rotated. It's not back. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Greg's panicking. Yes. Mike, do you know Flame Slinger? Uh, I, I think I have a good idea. I, I would say I'm 9 out of 10 on Flame Slinger right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. I bet you I could draw it. Really? But I, you know, I, I dropped that hint last round and we'll see if they pick up on that. You know what I mean? About mm. what is a Skylander? What does a Skylander look like? Who is a Skylander? Who is a Skylander? You know what I mean? You got to be mindful of that. Yeah. Did you ever right? boot up the game? No, 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 it was just the toys that no, did it for no, you. Did toys. you ever buy the toys? 30 oh, seconds. Yeah. I, I, I probably you, have 20 toys back at the house. Whoa, why? Because they're cool. <laughs> because they're cool. Did you Do have... I have Disney Infinity toys? Of course. Oh, we yeah, I mean, those ami- are cool. Those are legitimately yeah. cool. Did you collect Amiibo at all? Uh, I only have like five. I mean, that's more than seconds. I have. Yeah, they yeah, didn't speak fair. to me. I don't know any jabronis. Only five. But I bought that cool dragon. His name's Ridley, or her name. I don't know. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. Five Ridley is sick as hell. All right, four. Three, two, one. Hens down. We're going to start off with Andy Cortez. I asked you guys to draw Flame hey. Slinger. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Chill out. Yeah, you're just signing his name. Sorry, signing his it's name. between me and Tim. I just want to make sure I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what does Andy have for Flame Slinger? Oh. Okay. Hey. It's kind of like an elemental character. I like it's that. sexier than I expected. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one of those little flame guys those from Mars. Those fucking Sport. lips, man. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, like a flame with, with limbs. I, I like it. I like I it. I dig it. Very cool. Uh, let's Spit do... Fire logo. Let's do Greg. What does Greg have? <laughs> Similar oh, idea. Yeah. Okay. Andy and I okay. see it. You know what I mean? Of course, mm-hmm. I used color. You can see him getting ready to throw the flames. That's, you know, that is one of the things. He is a flame, of course, as well. Yeah. But when I oh shit it was, I thought I had it set to red to do his outline, but I had it set to black. So I just had to go black and then come back and do all my touches. Kind of looks like a South Park character. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yes. I guess, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the yes. eyes. Uh, what does Tim have? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job, wow. Tim. Flame Good hair. Job, Tim. Now, is More he of long? a flame, like, caster as opposed to, like, itself yes. being a flame. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Barrett, bring up Flame Slinger. Oh, oh, yeah. oh wow! wow. So yeah, Flame Slinger is actually a reptilian man that has a bow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, is, that you didn't know. Yeah, slings bow and arrows, or slings ar- ar- arrows uh, that are lit up with flames. Okay, I should so have now, brought back the reptilian vibe from the other one. Just, yeah, yeah. You almost. So yeah, it. let's go through them all uh, one more time so the judges can get a look. Yeah. This round doesn't count for anything, right? This is great. Like none of this counts. <laughs> oh, <this all> counts. <laughs> hey, what are we doing? So this is Greg, the South Park character. This is Tim right here. And this is Andy. Yeah. Again, we're looking for accuracy, not necessarily artistry. Wow. But it is up to the judges, the individual judges on who they want to go with. Do we all have our votes locked in? Yes, we do. Locked in. I'll start off this time. <clears throat> My vote goes to Tim. Mm-hmm. That's fucking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mainly because it's more like, I mean, humanoid, was, humanoid is, what yeah. I, is how I would describe yeah. Tim's mm-hmm. thing, right? And like, obviously, the, the, the actual flame singer is not an actual flame, right? So, yeah. 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 Uh, let's go with Roger. Yeah, I went with Tim as well. It's because he had the fire in his hands. Yes. You know what I mean? He was throwing the fire. And I I know you guys kind of had like a fire head, but like mm. it also could be like spiky hair. Right? Could. So like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, Unfortunately, I, I think the two know. It is all Tim. <laughs> because these two, they know. Pen- they know. Look at his penmanship. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. It's really yeah, Really good handwriting. Really now impressive. am I taking my time extra to make sure it looks nice? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, that's 30 points for Tim right there. Damn, we have... Fucked up. One more round here for Portra mode. I want you all to draw. Hold on, hold on. We're still racing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Takes a second. Once again, shout out to Microsoft for the Surface Pro. 9. Yeah, this thing is cool. This pen feels that good. Thing is, there's probably yeah. is a quicker race. <laughs> we just don't know. And also, like you know, oh, I've been making new layers. 
Oh. That's real smart. Man, thanks, Andy. Andy did it, everybody. A round of applause. Tip of the head for Andy. I haven't done fuck all today, but that's fine. I was going to explain something. Well, I'll do it as actually you guys are drawing here. Uh, round number four. I want you all to draw Dino Rang. Dino Rang. Dino Dash Rang. One of my favorites. Oh, you love Dino yeah, Rang? Yeah, this one I bought. So <laughs> I know this. <laughs> <laughs> Our contestants are drawing Dino Did Rang. you buy Dino Rang because of the name? Does he look yes. cool? Well, I mean, for its look, when you see it, I don't want to give it away, but when you see it, there's some that speak to me, Roger. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're at Target, you're cruising down the aisles, and things speak to you, yeah. toys speak to you, and you got to buy it. Now, what speaks to you? What are you looking for in a Skylander? Are you looking for just like that's you cool? Be looking are you for looking for like Colors. hey, I want to hang out with him? Yeah, no, yeah, something I'm looking that's fun for to like display, yeah, imagine. something that's cool to display, something that mm. pops, something that can be a hero. You know what I mean? You can get behind this person yeah. as your hero. Because yeah. that's what Skylanders are. They're heroes. Okay. Right? <laughs> could a little kid look up to that Skylander and be like, that guy, he could be my next Spider-Man. Mm. My next Spider-Man. <laughs> what is Dino, Dino Rang? Is Dino Listen, Rang never As somebody, as somebody who knows what Dino Rang looks like, I get it. Yeah. 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 Fucking Dino plus, Rang could be a main character. Plus, You're cruising down the target aisle looking for <laughs> what could Ten be your seconds. next hero, which just is so incredible. You know. Just so yeah. you know. 30 years old. <laughs> We got five, five seconds. Uh, one thing I did want to mention with the Service Pro, Pro 9s, of course, we're using them for this game, Portrait Mode. But uh, as we've been talking, working on things behind the scenes, figuring out all the ways to improve up. Game Showdown. Pens down, time's up. Uh, this is something you want to use for other games like Critical Hit 2 whenever Absolutely. we're listing uh, the games or anything that requ requires drawing down your answer. Of course, the Service Pro is going to be there for us. Uh, pens down. I asked you guys to draw Dino Rang. We're going to start off with Greg Miller. What did Greg put down? It ended up more safari than I wanted. I wanted that to be a cowboy hat. I just couldn't pull it off. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Can you explain the, the Yeah, the what's the inspiration here? Well, sorry, what's what? Now? Like why why safari hat? Or why Oh, Dino Rain kind of sounds like something from down under. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Like okay. A boomerang, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. Like he needs to have like the Rang Australian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he needs to have like an Australian cowboy hat. That's... Again, if I would have more time, maybe put some of the teeth in it, you know, on the oh. band on the band of the hat, cool. like crocodile dundee kind of thing. What's the what's the orange? Like a vest? Yeah, again, I was going imagine Steve, like Steve, Steve Irwin, Irwin, right? Like I'm okay. putting him in that and then I wanted he has to have something. I was I think I might have tried to bring him on for pants. I I, I started drawing and I was like, oh shit, he should he should be bi pedal, but like he's gonna be quad pedal. You know what I mean? All right, Andy Cortez, yeah. let's bring up what Andy has. <laughs> yes, right. yes, Andy, yes. Just Andy, dinosaur. you want to describe this for us? <laughs> this New nightmare like being unlocked. begged to put down. It's yeah. just it's kill me. the eel from kill Mario sixty four with a body. Yeah, I've just given up. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> just a fucking dinosaur head. <laughs> Oh my god! This I thought like I thought we'd be driving game definitely. covers, <laughs> not not uh, imagining what a thing looks like I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, what does Tim got for us? So for this, it's oh, it is a dinosaur okay. that like, oh, like a boomerang. boomerang. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. same thing right there. Da -da -da. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now does that inspire <laughs> somebody's hero? You know, <laughs> is that going to be someone's next hero? There's a, there's a kid that looks at that and is like, "That's my Spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hero right there." He might find that, put that behind his streaming setup. Let's find Barry, out. Barry, bring up the real Dino Ring. So Dino Ring is more of a yeah anthropomorphic dinosaur though. creature yeah. who yeah, yeah. Well, actually, actually throws boomerangs. Dude, he actually Dino throws Ring is sick. Oh my I god, I get it, I get it. Dude, That's fucking my Spider Man That's the hero. Dude, Give me my right. mom. I want my Dino Ring PJs. <laughs> uh, let's go through the the answers one more time. Can't so wait for phase three decide. of the <laughs> fucking yeah. This is Greg Skyline right universe. <laughs> this is Tim's. And there's Andy. Oh, I didn't sign mine. All right, judges, do we have our answers? Look, yeah, I'm ready. Bless. All right, All right. <laughs> let's start off. It's like everyone's with behind. <laughs> Roger Bacorny. Uh I went with Andy's because he looks like just a dude. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what Dino Rang's whole thing is. He's just a guy. <laughs> just a fucking just a dude. Just, just a, a dude. And I like that. Don't Clearly. talk with authority on Dino <laughs> Rang, Roger. Win from now on, I'm just gonna draw stick figures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look how cool he looks. Come on. My vote also goes to Andy. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's the closest, right? Like, Dino Rang is an anthropomorphic alligator slash dinosaur creature. And I like the creativity of Tim and Greg's, but Andy, I think in terms of accuracy, technically is... <laughs> me getting correct. creative fucked me. Me adding yeah. a tail, me, you know, all yeah. that shit. Mike, who, who's your vote? Andy did a fantastic job. Great job, Andy. There you Incredible go. stuff, Andy. Uh, Barrett. It's a respectable score. <laughs> we do have a bonus round for portrait mode. But before we get there, let's recap the scores. I might not have prepared you for that, actually. No. <laughs> uh, right now, still somehow tied for last place. 
people with more points on the board are both Team Greg and Team Andy with 50 points and taking the lead, just dominating not just today's game of Game Showdown, but the entire first season of Game Showdown is Team Gettys with 90 points, but it's still anybody's game. Is it? Is this not? Oh, is there another round? There, after there this? is a bonus round. Uh, first of all, shout out is it to worth 40 points. <laughs> shout out to Roger, Roger and Mike for being our judges today for uh, Portrait Mode. Our bonus round, part of Portrait Mode, is called Nick's Fan Art. No. Nick Scarpino Love it. has oh. the dirtiest mind in the kind of funny studio. He's also very talented at drawing. I've told Nick to draw us three different images. I've given him the name of some video game characters and a prompt for each image. We're going to reveal each image one layer at a time. Your task is to buzz in and guess who the characters are. If you can guess the prompt too, you'll get an additional 10 points. Do we uh, go beep? Yep. Uh, yeah, can we get the buttons back? I don't know where the buttons disappear to. They're over there, but Raj needs to run them, right? So we need Raj back too. Oh, yeah. I mean, you maybe just buzz in by saying your name. <laughs> the way okay. we do it old school. Uh, the so do we need this anymore? We can shut the tablets. You can, you can shut the tablets, yeah. Uh, the earlier you guess the characters, the more points you'll get, uh, with a max of 30 points per round, plus the points for the prompt. Uh, but you only have one guess per layer. So there's a lot of points on the board here. Again, we got three rounds of images. Uh, you got 40 possible points per round with... Uh, the prompt getting you to 10 points, but then also if you guess the characters early enough, you can get 30 points per round. So think like critical hit rules, where the earlier you guess, the more points you get. And so mm. we're guessing everything. Like, yeah. is you're going to see something, I'm going to be like, it's you're guessing the banana, shooting them. Um... Well, you're guessing the characters. And okay. then if you get the characters right, then you're guessing the full okay. prompt for an extra 10 points. Thank you. I got lost. Yep. So we're going to start off with round number one. Are we all prepared? I know Roger's on buzzer duty. You good? Sick. All right, Barrett, show the first layer of round one. Oh, Nick. Again, Nick Scarpino has prepared this for us. We're looking for the three characters. And can we, if I buzz in now, can I buzz in later and stuff? You like can that? buzz in out in like in additional layers. Okay. There we go. Greg Miller. So I would say then it is uh, Strong Greg watching Charizard kiss Batman. That is incorrect. Tim Geddes. Cloud, Strife, Charizard, and Ryu from Street Fighter. That is incorrect. Andy, do you want to guess, or should we move on to the next layer? Um, yeah, I'll go with. I was. I'll go with Cloud. Wait, who did you say? Did you say Hitman? No, no, you said Ryu. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Cloud, uh, the ball guy from Hitman and Charizard. That is incorrect. Barrett, show the second layer. A little, a little bit more detail on the drawings there. Hmm. A little bulge growing. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> a little bulge is growing there. And if you got nothing, we'll move on to the third and final layer for this one. Greg Miller. Charizard. Uh, Bruce Banner turning into the Incredible Hulk. And uh, the, guy, the protagonist from GTA 3. That is incorrect. That was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. I got nothing. Yeah. All right, Barrett, show the final layer. For round number one here. Greg Miller. Uh, so, Cloud, Charizard, Nathan Drake. That is correct. Mm. That's 10 points for getting it on the third layer, layer of that round. Do you want to guess the prompt? Sure. Mm. Um, Why would we? Oh, <laughs> the prompt is... The wonderful work of Nick, Nick Scarpino. Uh, they all work in a lab and Cloud walks in. No, I'm sorry. They, yeah, no, they all work in a lab and Cloud walks in on his two uh, TAs or whatever, Nathan Drake and Charizard kissing. Oh, yeah, I'll give that to you. That's Thank pretty you. much close enough. Yeah, the, the exact prompt I gave Nick for this one was Nathan Drake and Charizard being caught by their science teacher, Cloud Yeah, Stride. thank you very much. Yeah. So that's an additional 10 points. So that's Beautiful. 20 points for that round for Greg. Let's move on to round number two. Bear, if you can show the first layer. <clears throat> oh, my God. And you'd want just the characters for this one. <laughs> the bulges <laughs> are so good. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Ryu from Street Fighter and like a sexy Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Greg Miller, uh, Sonya Blade and Hitman. That is incorrect. This is a tough one for this first yeah, layer. I, I got nothing. All right, Barrett, show the second layer. Greg Bill, Miller. It's Cole from Infamous and 2B from Near. That is correct. Oh, shit. Wow. Can you tell me what the prompt is here? 
Sure. I have one question before I do. Uh -huh. Are the prompts always dirty or did Nick just make them dirty? I uh, The prompts I gave Nick were slightly dirty. Okay. The so actual results we got <laughs> a bit more dirty. Than me, so, the idea, so I'm going to give you two-ish, but they're the same vein, right? Okay. So the cleanish one is Cole from uh, Infamous delivers to be a pizza, right? Mm -hmm. The dirtier one is Cole from Infamous and to be are in a porno movie and it's Cole delivering the pizza. And I, I got nothing yeah. to pay. I'll give that to you. Thank yeah. You. The actual prompt here is a sexy Cole from Infamous delivering pizza to to be from Nier Automata. Thank and you. so, yeah, I'll give, I'll give you those points. Uh, that is 10 points for the prompt, but then also 20 points uh, for getting it on the second layer. Thank you. We're going into our third and final round of this I, I figured we'd want to show the, the, yeah. the Oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah, show the final. Oh, and her apartment's 2B. That's nice. Yeah. That's Dang. good. That's good attention Dang. to detail. Nick. This is fantastic. Shout out to Nick fantastic for this. Fantastic. Make a sexy call and he just puts him in a lower <laughs> tank top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For our final round of Nick's fan art, Barrett, show the first layer of round number three. <laughs> Again, big shout out to Nick Scarpino. We put in a lot of work into this. Yeah. Greg Miller. I'm going to say it's, uh, thank you very much, uh, Geralt from The Witcher in a hot tub with Mike Hager from Final Fight. That is incorrect. Got nothing. Yeah. All right. Show the second layer. Andy. Geralt from The Witcher in a hot tub with... Um, <laughs> with, I'm going to say, uh, no, I got nothing. All right. Uh, Tim. Gerald in the hot tub with Solid Snake. That is correct. Damn. That is both the two characters and the prompt, uh, which on the second layer gets you the 20 points plus the 10 points for the prompt for a 30 point total there, which secures the victory for the you, Tim. Uh, the mullet. On yeah. another episode of Game Showdown, this is what the final layer looks like. <laughs> of course, you got Solid Snake there chilling with the homie Gerald. pink nipples. He no, made man. Snake's chest way too it's big. It's so big. Way yeah. Big. He, that's, that's big boss. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, that yeah, looked like Zangief or some <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that brings us to the end of today's game showdown. Barrett, if you can bring up the star standing so we can catch up on where we're at Please for do. the overall season. Tim is on a tear because we went into this with Tim uh, having four stars, Team Andy having one star, and Team Greg having one star. Tim with another victory today, increasing his lead to five stars overall. Congratulations, Tim. Thank you. It feels good. You're putting feels in work. Commanding. Good. Yes. You know. Of course, we're most of our way through the season, but the season's not over. There's still chances for Andy and Greg to come back. We got really cool things planned for the finale. Are there going to be more chances to earn more stars? Maybe so. But awesome. Is there going to be some Mario Party bullshit <laughs> up in this? There better. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. The person who was closest to the most answers, I get a star for that. Until next time. I've been blessing. <laughs> That's been Team Tim. That's been Team Andy. That's been Team Greg. It's been our pleasure to serve you.